Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy, and here I have another review for you uh, from the director, Michael Crum. And uh, it is the sequel to Lake Fear, which is uh, distributed by E1 Entertainment along with ITN. Um, and, uh, Michael Crumb's, uh, film company, uh, is MGI Films. So, here we have Lake Fear 3, which, personally, I think this is the, actually the official, uh, the official Lake Fear sequel, <laughs> Because this follows the story that, uh, that was um, brought to us in the first Lake Fear, which was directed by the uh, the same director. And uh, so we have the character of Remington um, returning, uh, who is played by Joshua Winch. And he has escaped from a world of demons from hell that evidently he had trapped inside a television set inside a house on a lake when four girls went to uh, to this place to um to enjoy a spring break um vacation of sorts and um he is on the run from these demons in the same respect revel who is played by Shannon Sneeden, uh, is looking for her sister, uh, which apparently she was one of the girls uh, who had gone to the lake. And uh, she is searching for her sister um, because the police have um, considered or have uh, considered her dead or uh, haven't began looking for, uh, for, for her. Uh, her. Um, or continued to look for her. And her friend Chloe, who was played by Caitlin E. Newberry, um, kind of goes along with her. And uh, they end up running into this um, failing paranormal TV host by the name of Vincent, who was played by Debbie uh, Kajishvili. Um, Excuse me if I say his name wrong, but um, uh, in the very beginning of this uh, film, we see uh, um, kind of a narration of Remington as he goes into this bar, and uh, we we hear that uh, he is being followed by these demons, and um, evidently this spiritual enti uh, entity. Um, possesses the bodies of the living um even though they're not dead and turns them into these you know monsters to attack him um kind of like zombies in a, in a sense uh, because you see them uh somewhat uh do some kind of transformation or whatnot but um i wanted to show you this um uh slip cover uh, of, of the film um so uh there we have uh, a picture of the cover. Um, I don't know if you can see any uh, pictures on the back here, but uh, in any case, they run into this uh, failed TV uh, host who ends up um, for um, the thought of money um, going with them to a bar um, which looks kind of like a cottage uh, on a lake or on or near lake and uh it seems like the um bar owner um is against having this remington show up in their uh, in her bar uh she is fearful so much that she ends up accidentally um shooting the um young girl looking for her sister um in the process and allowing the 
uh, spiritual entity to possess um, the young girl's body. And uh, we also see, uh, see it possess part of the old woman as well. Um, and then that's where it kind of goes weird because um, Remington show, uh, has shown up and uh, it's like uh, parts of this uh, segment were inspired by John Carpenter's thing be, uh, because you have a headless body running ar uh, around part of the foot ends up being like some kind of animated monster. Um, so, uh, so, um, and I believe the leg was part of the old woman. Um, so it was kind of weird. And then, um, the possessed revel, um, who was played by Shannon Snitton. Um, her eyes glow, and it's like uh, the, um, her whole bottom half of her jaw uh, somewhat glows. So that's actually kind of cool. And then um, when Remington and Chloe and Vincent end up in a car, there is a hand incident, which uh, is uh, kind of reminiscent of... Um, uh, maybe seen uh, an anthology called Quicksilver Highway where, uh, where it had to deal with hands. Uh, and this hand, animated hand, tried to stop them. But um, I think three quarters of the way into the, the film is where I was slightly disappointed because once they got, once they got back to the cabin, uh, much of the rest of the film was in darkness. And I really hate when things are so dark you can barely see anything. So I think that's where the film somewhat fails because it should have been a little lighter for me to see everything that was going on. I mean, there was supposedly something going along the floor uh, towards uh, Chloe's character that I could barely see. And you should be able to... Um, see what's going uh, going on. I mean, you should be able to see um, some of the spiritual um, um, shit that seems to be going on in the film, and you you really don't. And I was uh, so I was kind of disappointed in, um, in some of this uh, section of the. Even though I know that it, it, I'm glad that it kind of went back to some of that. You know. Um randomness i mean in a sense it was it was a, a little bit of you know a little bit of an animal uh i mean it was gr it was great at the par uh, part part uh, between the bar and the car sequence and then uh, and then i mean it was different so i, uh, I don't want to say on a scale of one to ten uh, but um, overall, um, whether I enjoyed it, uh, I mean, I, the acting was somewhat hokey on Vincent's par uh, uh, part, uh, that gu uh, guy's part. But I thought the acting on the uh, on the other two were uh, weren't uh, definitely uh, too uh, too bad. I liked I like that um, Remington is kind of a you know, uh, an, almost a non-speaking character, but uh, but he, he's he's got more of a presence. Uh, so um, I like that he's more of a okay, let uh, uh, let less words, more action kind of guy. Uh, as far as um, as far as some of the effects in there, I thought some of the effects were decent. Um, I mean, I like the, uh, the fact that uh, there were some creature effects uh, uh, used and some CGI. Um, my thing is uh, the darkness. In, so overall, I th thought this was okay. And I liked the ending. I did like the ending. But um, it, it's, 
like I said, that uh, that darkness period, it it, it was kind of turning me off. And and when and when I first was watching it, it was putting me to sleep more because that I couldn't see it. So in any case, um, if uh, you can understand where I'm coming from, uh, hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. Like and subscribe to my page if you have not. Um, uh, the other thing that I was uh, slightly disappointed in um, was the fact that this um, this didn't have a scene selection. I, I, I'm used to uh, films uh, when they have a menu uh, that they have a scene selection where you can choose which scene that you want to go to, and uh, it, it did not. I don't like that you, uh, it, it, you stick the movie in and all you have to do is play. Uh, that being said... Um, I'm I'm used to films that happen like that, but uh, that makes it uh, m more like it is independent than, uh, than it is a regular feature. So in any case, hopefully you've enjoyed um, my description of this film. Like and subscribe to my page if you have not. I know I've said that before, but uh, definitely check out some of my other reviews. I'm definitely going to have some more cool reviews for, uh, for you later down the road. Um, because I enjoy uh, watching films and sharing uh, uh, my knowledge of uh, what I think uh, uh, films are and not not all, uh, all those fake opinions out there that um, others seem to have. Because I think there's a lot of fakeness out there because I don't think that people truly watch these films. And I do. Um, so in any case, um, have a great day, evening, and morning, wherever you are. Uh, appreciate the traffic, and uh, thank you ahead of time for uh, listening to my babble. And it, uh, So enjoy the rest of your, uh, your time here on my page.